God is so good. Good morning. Good. God is song. so good. One of my favorites. He's so good to me. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. He's so good to me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. I love him so. I love right here. Him Everybody's in the right so place. Mrs. Wiersma, did you make sure they were there? Excellent. Remember, Mrs. Wiersma's going to ask questions about this, so pay attention. Good morning! All right. Should we turn on the lights? Let's turn on the lights. No one ever does much. That's a little better. And so does that. All right. Well, let's see who's here, shall we? I could just go, is everybody here? And then you go here, but no, let's check and see. Adeline, Adeline, where did you go? Okay, I thought I saw you come in. Ellen, 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 gotcha, excellent. Okay, Austin, I know I saw you, Austin, good. Avery, bingo, gotcha, okay. Braxton, Braxton, yep, all right, Cade, Cade. You're not where you usually sit, Cade, C Cade, all right, Cadence, Cadence, ah, gotcha, okay, Cora. Gotcha, Cora, right there. All right, Cordelia, raise your hand, Cordelia. Ah, 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 ah. Dylan, all right, excellent. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Yes, all right, good. Okay, let's see. Easton, ah, uh -huh, I see. All right, good, good. Eleanor, Eleanor, are you Eleanor? El where did you? Oh, there you are. Good. I almost didn't see that hand. Eliana. Yes. All right. Right away. Eleuthera. Uh -huh. Good. Emily. Em yes. Gotcha. Emily Ezra. Right there. I knew I saw Ezra come in. Harper E. Yes. Okay. Harper H. Harper. Harper. Harper H. Ah, good. Uh -huh. Hope. Hope are you? Yes. Hope is there. Jackson, yes, exactly, okay. Joey, I know I saw Joey come in. Joey, jo Joey, <laughs> all right, good. Kennedy, yee, Kennedy, yes, all right, good, good. Leia, 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 Leia. Oh, there, right behind the bear, okay. Liam, Liam, yes, okay, excellent. Luca, 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 gotcha, good. Macy, boom, right there, okay. Mason, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, Maya, Maya, hand up, Maya, yes, all right, good, Rosalie, I see you, all right, good, Xylee, yes, all right, are there any parents here today, raise your hands and say, here, all right, any grandparents, any, yeah. oh, okay, excellent, anybody else, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends, anybody else visiting, yay, I know that there's some people watching from far, far away, too, so raise your hand and say, here, all right, excellent. Mrs. Wiersma, I know she's watching. Mrs. Gamash, yes. All right. Who am I forgetting? Oh, Pastor Chris, are you here today? <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me know that I am. I can hear you from far, far away. Well, actually, I can't, but we're just going to pretend that I can. Because this time of our lives now, it's really important for us to be able to pretend about some of these things. It's a good deal, but I don't have to pretend to light the candles because I have the taper. Right. Okay. Let's remember the things that the candles help us to remember. All right. God is here. Yeah. Way. And we light both of those. And the candles remind us that Jesus loves everybody. Yes. The louder, the better on that everybody. Sorry, parents, that's just the way that goes. And we get to remember that our prayers go up and God's Spirit hears. Amen. And we say amen because we know it's really, really true. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. It's good stuff. All right. Did you know that it's still Easter? Yes! Jesus Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Hallelujah! And I need to tell you some really great stories. 
about Easter. There's a bunch of them, and they're really important, and they teach us some really, really cool things. So I'm going to tell you another Easter story today. Because it's really, really true that Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Yeah. And you can do that yah any way you want. Because remember, that yah is the same yah as the Yahweh. Yahweh. It's the same yah. There we go. All right, so last week, I told you the story about some women who found when they got to the tomb that it was open because a dog had come and opened the... No, no, it wasn't a dog. Um, it was a big stone, so they got there, and it was a really big frog. No, it wasn't a frog. Oh, it was an angel. Right. It was an angel that came, rocked the whole world. The, the big stone rolled out of the way. The guards all fainted. The women were told by this angel that... Jesus is alive. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And then they were on their way because the angel told them to uh, go home and don't tell anybody. No, 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 no. The angel told them to um, have a party. No, that wasn't. No, right. He, the angel told them to go and tell their friends. And so they were going to do it. And as they went along the way, there was Jesus. And what he said to do, yep, he told them to go tell his friends too. Now, do you think they did it? We talked a little bit about that last week. I think they must have. For sure, we know that Mary did. Because we have a story in the Bible about that. Mary goes to the house, to the room where all of the disciples are, and they're scared, and they're, they're locked in there because they think maybe they're going to get arrested, and they might get crucified too. They don't know for sure. It's like scared. Now, remember, they don't know for sure yet, right? They haven't heard that Jesus is alive. They don't know that Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I don't know why we're whispering, but they didn't know that. They didn't know it yet. And Mary was still scared too because so she goes to the, to the door and knocks on the door. It's like nothing. Who's that at the door? I don't know. You go look. I don't want to go look. You go look. I'm not going to go look. You'll go look. Finally, Peter. All right, Peter is going to do it, right? More insistent this time. She's knocking on the door. They open the window just a little bit and he sees that it's Mary. So they let her in and she goes, I have seen the Lord. He's alive. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And they don't believe her. They don't believe her. It's like, no, we saw him die. We don't believe it. How can that possibly be? It's not true. Mary said, I did. The, the tomb's open. We don't know what's going on, but the, an angel told us he's a, that he's alive. Peter and John decide, well, maybe we better go check this out. They open the door carefully and nobody's there. So they run. They run to the tomb. Mary's following along behind. Women in those days didn't run very much. And if they did, their skirts were kind of in the way because they were really long. But anyway, Peter runs really fast, but he's not fast enough. John gets there first and he stops at the tomb and the door's open. Yeah, the, ro the rock is gone. The guards are gone. They were the ones that had passed out. They're completely gone. They don't know what's going on. Peter gets there next. He's all out of breath. <laughs> he looks in. Then, then John comes in too, and there's the stuff that they'd wrapped Jesus in. But he's not there. And it, the story tells us that John believed. And Peter wasn't so sure. And so they leave, and they go back to the room, and as they pass Mary on the way, and she's crying at this point because she's heard, heard and seen, but she didn't know for sure what was going on. And, and, so, and she's still really confused by all of this because you know, it's not every day, it hardly ever, that uh, somebody rises from the dead after, that, after three days. Although, you know, she'd seen about Lazarus when Jesus raised him from the dead. But it still didn't sink in because she really, really liked Jesus. And she, she knew that he was dead, but then he, she, that he was alive and she'd seen him. And she really wasn't sure what to make of all that. And she's crying and she's standing there. And this guy comes up to her and he goes, what are you crying for? Who are you looking for? And she thinks it's the gardener. And because who else is going to be there, right? Because the guards are gone. Everybody else is gone. She thinks it's the gardener. And she goes, tell me where you've taken him. I'll, so I can take him, so I can take care of him. And then at that point, it's, who do you think it is? Yes, it's Jesus. And he goes, Mary. And he calls her name. And she figures out, and she hears her name, and she knows it's him. And she falls at his feet and hugs, hugs his feet. And he goes, that's enough of that for now. Now go, go and tell that you've seen me again. That's really, really true. That's an, I love that story. The way that Jesus comes to Mary when she's the saddest. Because sometimes we get sad. I know you do. I know I do. 
especially these days when things are so darn weird. And maybe you've seen your parents get a little cranky or a lot cranky, or maybe the stuff on the news they get mad about or sad about, just like Mary was. And sometimes when you're really, really sad, you can't really understand what's going on. But you know what? That's what this truth about Jesus Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. Hallelujah. The truth of the resurrection. Can you say resurrection? Resurrection. Yes. Truth of that is that Jesus calls our name when we need him the most. When we're the most scared, when we're crying and sad, lost or alone, Jesus calls our name. And sometimes we just, it's hard to hear, but I think if we, if we do like we do in chapel, yeah. Just take that deep breath and remember how much God loves us and remember that Jesus is alive. He calls our name when we breathe and he helps us and he gives us a job to do, to share our love, to share God's love with anybody and everybody that we possibly can. Jesus knows your name and he calls it when you need him the most. He's there for you. That makes me feel so much better. Would you pray with me? Then we'll sing a song, okay? Close your eyes and fold your hands. Let's pray together. Repeat after me. Thank you, God, that you know our name, each and every one of us, and that when we're tired or crying or scared, you call our name to help us, to be there for us. It's really, really true. In Jesus' name, amen. And you know how I know it's really, really true? Because Jesus Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Alleluia. All right. Oh, the song that I picked for this. This is a little, this one's a little different. I know that Jesus really lives. What comfort that sweet sentence. That's a sentence, a bunch of words together that mean something. That's a sentence. And that's a sweet sentence to know that Jesus really lives. I know that Jesus really lives. What comfort that sweet sentence gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. We've been telling that story. He lives my ever-living head. That means my ever-living boss, my ever-loving king, my ever-living total parent, my ever-living God. And head kind of rhymes with dead, so that's why they use that one there. So here's what it sounds like. I know that Jesus really lives. What comfort that sweet sentence gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives my ever-living head. All right. Let's put the candles out and let them remember, remind us what they can remind us about. And let's use the song. All right. I'll use the taper. You sing the song. Let's go together. God is here. God is here. We always can remember that God is here. Yeah. Jesus loves. Jesus loves. We always can remember that Jesus loves everybody. Our prayers go up, our prayers go up. We always can remember that our prayers go up. And God's Spirit hears. Amen. I'll have to fix that. Well, I hope you remember that Jesus loves you and 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 so do I. Have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, and outrageously amazing day. And remember, Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.